Hello there beautiful people and welcome back again to our channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop one below in a comment. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And you already know if you have any questions too, make sure to drop one below in a comment. I will be happy to make a video for you as well. Same as the over 100 videos that I made so far on Shopify customization. And you should be a witness for that, right? <laughs> if you are a subscriber of more than a year ago, then you already know I made so many requested videos when it comes to Shopify customization. They were uh, mostly from subscribers, some people not from not uh, subscribers, but I'm fine with that. And even though they are not subscribers, I do still make the video for them. I don't know how they track, like if I posted the video they requested or no, they are not subscribers, but I'm, I'm, I don't know. Anyway, so <laughs> anyway, no worries. Even if you're not subscribers, just drop me a comment. I would be happy to help you out. And there I am again, back with another requested. Actually, this was requested like five people or six people, I think, that requested this video, which is how to have or add a custom scroll down or scroll up button on your Shopify store that will be a custom target that will actually have custom targets so you can set it to any section on your Shopify store. Once the customer or the visitor clicks on the button, it's gonna take them to the exact section you want on your Shopify store. And I will show you how to customize it to set it, I mean set the target for it to any section you want. I will show you how to do that, no worries. And we will do that again without using any apps or anything like that while using our own custom code that will enable you to do this. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is the Shopify dashboard in here. I have down chain, which is the 15 version, the last one as of now. So if you are wondering why I mentioned this, because I do demonstration, I mean the video you're watching right now, I will do demonstration on down chain. However, if I scroll down in here, I have every other most used free teams, which is Taste, Sense, Refresh, Spotlight, and Trade. If you are wondering why is that again, because I do actually try the trick behind the scenes in all of these teams. So even if you're not using down team, you're using one of these, it should work for you just fine. And even if it didn't, just drop me a comment. I will be happy to help you out, but I'm sure it will. Because as I said, I do try it behind the scenes on LFD, all of uh, the teams right here. Uh, and I do that so I don't bore people in the videos. <laughs> I only do demonstration on down team because it's the most requested one. It's also the most used one. So again, for the second time without any more talking, let's just jump to it. So obviously this is the Shopify store we're gonna do the trick on. And if you are interested in adding any of these things right here, including the scrolling announce bar with the gradient color and with the link, if I click on it, it's gonna take me a specific section again on Shopify store. I did that in the videos. If you notice the transparent header, not transparent anymore. If I scroll down, even custom search bar, all of this, I did it in videos and the codes I do provide completely free. I don't sell any courses. I don't sell any codes. I don't have any memberships. All the content I do create, it's completely free on the channel. So no worries. You don't have to pay anything. Just a like button, as I said, just a like button. Anyway, so uh, we will keep this page open, do the trick, come back for it. Or actually, we might not need to do that. So let's get back here. And the first thing you're going to do was once you are on the Shopify dashboard, click on customize button. And you might be thinking, wow, this is all only the available on the team. No, it's not. <laughs> I apologize. It's not available. We will add it actually. So once you are on the team editor, the first thing you're going to do is click on any section, like empty section. You want to add something, click on add section like this, click on it, then scroll down and click on custom liquid right here. Simply click on it. And it will show you this prompt right here at the top right corner where you're gonna paste in some code. In order to get the code, you need to hire a developer, pay him, wait 24 hours, then he will get back to you with the code, then try it, see if it works or not. But for you, not really. Just scroll down the description box and you will see a link named it as code. Simply click on it and it will take you to this page right here where you're gonna see this little code that will do the trick. As you can see, it's very simple, right? So simply select the whole code in here, then right click and copy. And we will get back to this so I can show you some things. Anyway, just paste it in here. Oh, check it out. A button already shows up as you can see. And uh, let me get back to the black screen so you can see clearly. So this is just the CSS or the customization for the code for the button, sorry. So uh, position, I don't recommend you to play with this, but 
the background color you can customize it actually and this is the sizes and the position and so on so if you are familiar with the uh, CSS then you can you can play around with this if not let me know in the comments what you're trying to do and I will be happy to help you out but in here it says scroll to products as you can see if I get back to Shopify uh, editor team editor sorry it says scroll to products and you can actually uh, change this or edit it let's just do scroll to subscribe yeah make sure to do that scroll to subscribe so as you can see it did change to scroll to subscribe so you can change it to anything you want I'm gonna get back to scroll to product because it's perfect for demonstration scroll to products and again in here it says uh, href and hashtag target section ID as you can see so the target uh, section ID is where you want the customer to be uh, directed or to be taken once he clicked on scroll to product or whatever you want so in my case it says the button scroll to product as you can see it says scroll to product on the button let's just keep it like that and we want them to scroll to products so get back to your Shopify store I mean not on the team editor here and simply find or locate the section you want the customer to be taken to as I said products for my case in your case maybe multi-column anyway just find the section you want the customer to be taken to uh, let's just say this is you want to be taken to the you want the customer to be taken to the future product then the next thing you're going to do to right click on the page and click on inspect and let me switch back to the desktop and let me close this okay so in here simply click on this small icon at the top left corner of inspect simply click on it then try to click on the whole section now the card or a, or a picture or title or button no try to click on the whole section that you want the customer to be taken to which is this one as I said click on it then it will highlight some code in here here it is if I go with the cursor over it as you can see it did it does actually select it on the it does highlight it on the page so in here as you can see it says ID as you can see it says ID equals and there is an ID in here which is the one we selected which is highlighted now on the page as you can see then simply double click on the ID section as you can see uh, and just select the ones that's between the quotes I mean the, the quote signs and just select the whole thing between the quote signs and copy it make sure you do not copy the quotes as well just the thing between the quotes and then get back in here and replace it on the target ID however make sure to keep the hashtag do not remove the hashtag otherwise it will not work so I'm gonna keep the hashtag I'm going to select just the target section ID and keep the quotes the closing quote then remove the previous one and paste in the section that you want the customer to be directed to now I think we're finished if I click on the save button and by the way yes it will create some empty space in here as you can see because we added a custom uh, liquid and there is no nothing here so it's just an empty space to remove this space simply use the padding section in here drag this to zero drag the other one to zero boom it's gone just the bottom now as you can see just the button sorry just the button now so let's just click on the save button now there is no space just the button if I get back to Shopify here let me close this and reload the page okay it has a button here as you can see and if I click on it I'm gonna click now it doesn't work oh you see what I did I missed an N it says collection without an N which just sounds French <laughs> let's just add an N so I apologize I'm supposed to show you something that without doing mistakes and I need to make sure to not do mistakes and I did the mistake that you shouldn't do <laughs> so I ran it okay we added the end let's just click on the save button and we get back in here reload the page okay if I click on scroll to the bottom now now you should work now you should work if I click on it boom back to the future product which is the section we did set the target for if I scroll up again and click again on it it's gonna take me back to the products 
And that's how you add a custom button, either scroll down or scroll up to any section you want on your Shopify store without using any apps or anything like that. And if you have any questions, make sure to drop them below. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.